Our team is interested in learning how to promote flourishing psychological well-being across many contexts, including family and business. Our brain's information processing can be divided into two major categories, explicit and implicit. Explicit processing deals with concepts and symbols, whereas implicit processing is automatic and non-conceptual. <clears throat> For example, after you learn how to drive a car, your implicit system can take care of most of the mechanics of steering and shifting, leaving your explicit system free to chat with the passenger. The Duke and Multitask demonstrates that these systems are mostly independent, assuming there aren't any traffic surprises. Anatomically, explicit processing mostly takes place in the neocortex, while implicit processing is mostly handled by the limbic system. Each system has a unique talent. The explicit system is flexible, and the implicit system is fast and efficient. These systems can work independently, but they can also work together, engaged with the same concern. Flow, the feeling of being in the zone while engaged in a challenging activity is one example. The contemplative practice of meditation is another. Recent neuroscience evidence indicates that both of these experiences share a common brain mechanism. First, the explicit system mostly shuts down, and then the two processing systems become synchronized. To investigate this synchronized state, I could study either meditation or flow. I started with meditation, and I'm currently collecting data from the Religious Study Department's Buddhist meditation class. These data will help us validate our new self-report measure. Self-report is not the most reliable kind of measure, but it is an important step. In the future, we anticipate two exciting applications. Flow is already a hot topic in business because flow facilitates creativity. What if we could increase the prevalence of flow using contemplative techniques? So that's business. In a family context, we know that secure attachment relationships are important for mental health. We are looking at using the flow framework to systematically cultivate the maternal, soothing side of our personalities. In summary, a great deal of work has been done on negative psychological functioning. A newer area, positive psychology, studies character strengths and virtues. We hope to contribute here by isolating the elements from both flow and meditation that reliably foster flourishing psychological well-being in both family and work contexts. Thank you.